Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about regression. What is regression? A function that calls itself is known as regressive function and this technique is known as regression. So, if any function is calling the same function again and again, then it is called as a regression. We will see the example. In this example, I have create, I have declared one function called display. Then I am having the main function. In the main, just I am printing the one line called I am from main. Then I am calling the display function. So what is happening here? Here the main will call the display function. So execution is execution is going to the display function. In the display function, it will display first I am from display then it will call the same function what is the same function display it is calling the display again so what will happen again it will execute i am from display then again it will call the same function again it will display i am from display then it will call the same function so it will happen without any stop so this technique is called as a rigor regression if any function is calling the same function again and again it is called as a regression but in this program we didn't use any conditional statement if statement that is why it is executing the same function again and again so whenever we are writing the regression make sure that you are including the some conditional statement or if so that execution will be stopped Otherwise, it will it will execute unconditionally without any stopping. We'll see one more example. This is the small program which will find the factorial of given number using regression. You may study already the factorial of given number using loop, but here we are going to discuss how to find the factorial of given number using regression. So here the main is created. I have declared the factorial function. And in this function, we are passing one argument or one input and this factorial function will return the one integer. And I have declared the n and answer two integer variable and I am printing the main function. Then I am getting the number from the user which I want to find the factorial. After that, I am calling the factorial function. Why I am giving answer equal to factorial? Since the factorial function may return one value, I am giving answer equal to factorial. For example, I am giving the n is 5. So what is happening? The 5 will be passed to the factorial. So in this line, in this line, it will call the factorial function. So it is nothing but factorial of 5. So the execution will come here. It will assign 5 to the n. Then it will check n equal to equal to 0. n is not equal to 0, n is 5. So it will come to the else part. In the else part, what is happening? It is returning n into factorial n minus 1. What is n? n is 5. So it is nothing but 5 into factorial of n minus 1. What is factorial of n minus 1? 4. n is 5. So 5 into factorial of n minus 1 factorial of 5 minus 1 it is nothing but 4 so here you can see this function is calling the factorial function again what is the parameter with the parameter of 4 so what is happening here it is calling the factorial of 4 function so in the factorial of 4 what is happening it will call factorial of 4 it will check n is 0 or not n is 4 right now so it is not it will not execute if it will come to the else it will call it will execute this line return n into factorial of n minus 1 what is n 4 4 into factorial of 3 so it will call the factorial again for the number 3 so what is happening it will call the one more function factorial but input is 3 so factorial of 3 will execute so what will happen in the factorial of 3 this if will be skipped it will execute 3 into factorial of 2 why 3 into factorial of 2 n is 3 so 3 into factorial of 2 so 
so what is happening in the factorial of 2 it will call one more function for factorial and input is 2 so what will happen there it will call factorial of 2 into n minus 1 that is 2 into factorial of 1 so here we are calling the one more function of factorial input is 1 so it will call factorial of 1 it will take n is equal to 0 or not n is not equal to 0 n is 1 so it will call again return it will execute this line 1 into factorial of 0 so it will execute like this so it will call the factorial of 0 so what will happen right now it will check n equal to 0 or not now here we are passing the 0 as an input so n is 0 so it will give 1 it will return the 1 so instead of this place 1 will be written so it will find 1 into 1 so answer is 1 so this one will be given to this line so what is happening here 2 into 1 will be calculated so the answer is 2 so the 2 will be given to the factorial of 2 so what is happening here 3 into 2 what is 3 into 2 6 6 will be applied over here and 6 into 4 24 24 will be given over here 24 into uh, 5 so what will be there it's a 120 so result the output will be displayed as a 120 you may see the output here if I run the same code if I run the same code I am giving the input is 5 it will display the factorial is 120 how it is happening because of the regressive function the similarly we can find the sum of n number you may remember what is sum of n number if I give the 5 you have to sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so what is the difference between factorial and sum only the operation the sum of n number we have to give the plus then what is the sum of 0 sum of 0 is 0 it is not 1 so whenever the number is 0 please return 1 so if you are executing this one it will find the sum of n number if i give the 5 it will find the sum of 5 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it is nothing but 15 so in this way we can execute the regressive function the function is calling the same function again and again so the answer will be given to the answer variable and it will display over here thank you